Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tower. I'd like to acknowledge the Warramai First Nations people. It's W-O-R-I-M-I, the traditional custodians of the land on which these videos are made. And welcome to you, your guides, the guides of the universal energies. I do apologise for the number of readings that you're going to cop daily. I don't know where I'm going to be from day to day, so... I'm just going to try and keep really, really up to date with everything. Okay, entertainment only. I was asked by one of my lovely viewers to have a look into uh, what's happening with Paul Watson. Now, a bit of background because you're probably going, oh, who's Paul Watson? Paul Watson, I believe, is the founder of Sea Shepherd. Uh, they had said Greenpeace, but it's not Greenpeace. It's the Sea Shepherd, a uh, different organisation altogether. Uh, activists and protests in regards to um, the whaling undertaken by Japan in the Antarctica region. Now, where I live, uh, it's literally a super highway of whales going up and down the coast uh, as they uh, give birth and head to, norma, uh, to warmer climes. And then once the calves are old enough, they head back south again to feed on the krill um, and to, I believe they um, they mate uh, up north and then the uh, they all head back down south again to Antarctica and uh, feed on the krill to fatten up uh, and then head north again next year uh, and give birth along the way. So, mm, so oh, I love the whales, absolutely, absolutely love them. So what's happened is that um, Paul Watson, he, I gather he uh, is the uh, founder of uh, Sea Shepherd. We've actually got a Sea Shepherd uh, ship uh, called the um, Stephen Irwin. <laughs> Why did I have a blank on that? The old crikey, crikey, it's a pop uh, parked in the port just over here. I see it often uh, when I head over into town. Um, so he's the founder of Sea Shepherd. Uh, he was the captain of, I didn't get the name of the ship, but the ship that was in Antarctica, I believe at the time, when uh, one of his uh, crewmates, uh, an activist by the name of Peter Bethune, uh, took a jet ski and boarded uh, one of the Japanese whaling boats, the Shonan Maru, I'm sure I've pronounced that incorrectly, um, and uh, to try and uh, arrest uh, the captain of the whaling ship. So Japan uh, is not part of the International uh, Whaling Accord that uh, prevents um, uh, hunting of whales. They pulled out and then officially restarted whaling back in 2009 um, claim uh, prior to that they were still whaling. I think they were taking about a thousand whales a year, claiming it was for research purposes. Well, every other country doesn't need to seem to need to kill the whales for research purposes. And by shock and horror, uh, the the whale meat seemed to end up on menus and for sale in Japan. So anyhow, they Japan officially moved out of that uh, accord and in 2019 actually officially said, yeah, we're whaling and resumed whaling. Uh, they do claim that it's only around, um, I, I'm sorry, I love Japan, I love Japanese people. One of my guides, in fact, is Japanese. She's very young, uh, Sato Shin, um, uh, passed during the... Um, the tsunami after the nuclear power plant blew up. She's here for the duration of the US elections and the changing in politics worldwide. Uh, she's really not happy about the whaling itself, but there are claims that uh, the whaling is for around Japan, but the uh, the motherships, uh, the mothership factory ship, which is huge, it does the processing uh, plus all the Subsidiary ships are down in Antarctica during the uh, their whaling season. Anyhow, oh, getting off my little soapbox there, what happened was uh, Peter Bethune um, was then arrested uh, back, I believe, uh, in around 2010, uh, but he was um, released. He was released um, with a, you know, behave yourself, slap over the wrist bond. However, Japan have issued a Interpol warrant for the arrest of Paul Watson, saying that he was an accomplice um, of uh, Peter Boothane and they are demanding extradition. 
So Peter Watson, Paul Watson, sorry, uh, was arrested in Greenland, which comes under the jurisdiction of Denmark, and Japan is requesting Denmark extradite. Uh, and if uh, they are successful, he looks at um, 15 years potentially in jail for um, what was the actual charge. Let me just have a look here. I think it's for trespass, uh, trespass and assault. Okay, let's get to the actual reading itself. Let me get back over here to the actual reading itself and I just want to see what is going to happen there. Now the French uh, government uh, have, because uh, apparently uh, Paul Watson was has been living in France for a number of years, um, have uh, requested that Denmark do not extradite uh, Paul Watson to, to Japan and there are something like about a 600,000 signature petition going to the Danish government saying, please do not extradite. So I just want to see what is the future of Paul Watson, Paul Watson in regards to this arrest. Paul Watson, what do we need to know about Paul Watson? And then I'm going to actually have a look at whaling because, okay, I'll just stop shuffling while I talk about this. Really interestingly, um, the um, processor, the whale meat processor is struggling to sell the whale meat because the young people, the people that are coming through now, uh, are just like, no, you, why would I, <laughs> type situation. Um, understanding that whale meat was high on the menu after World War II because, uh, you know, eat the whale, whale meat or starve, basically. So it became part of the diet after World War II, I believe, um, but it's because it was necessary. But now it's not, and the young people are just not interested. And, in fact, if you come to a country like Australia, you will see the, um, the whale-watching boats that go out absolutely full of young Japanese tourists. So let's have a look. First of all, I want to have a look at Paul Watson. Oh, that was a long blabble, wasn't it? Okay, Paul Watson, show me. Paul Watson, will he be extradited due to Japan? Paul Watson with this arrest and extradition, what will happen to him? Uh, he is quite anxious because he knows that if he's extradited, he, he feels he won't get a fair trial. Let's have a look. Paul Watson, will he be extradited? Come on down, let's have a look. Right. Okay, Page of Pentacles, bringing forth information. Pages bring forth information um, about protection. Okay, right. Thank you. What I'm getting from this is that he feels that he is a small actor doing what he can. Not actor, actor is the wrong word. What, what word would you like to use, guys? He, it's basically a David and Goliath. Okay, thank you. If you hear them, let me know. It's a David and Goliath about protecting what is really precious. I'm just going to put that out there. That's what that's what the signifier for David Watson, uh, Paul Watson is. Paul Watson is that he is David against against Goliath, protecting what is really precious. Challenged by uh, money changing hands, the money to be made in the whaling industry. Does the whaling industry get a government subsidy in Japan? I should look that up because I'm really feeling, I don't know why, but I'm feeling that there is money to be handed out to continue this practice. And weighing up the scales, it it feels to me like the government's weighing up weighing up the balance as to whether it is worthwhile to give out money to continue this practice. So let me know if you know whether it's subsidised or not. The foundation is it's time for change. I really feel this with the what I'm going to read on about will the whale industry continue? It is. Time for change. 
and there is this awareness of it. Wow, okay. In the past, uh, being forced to retreat, this was his arrest in Greenland, being put under some sort of restriction, confinement. Uh, bail was denied because he was considered a flight risk, so he's literally having to bide his time. Crowning the reading, we've got justice here. Now, actions having consequences, but also weighing the scales of justice. Um, okay. A very emo I'm, I'm being told this is a very emotive situation, but the Danish court has to abide by the rule of law. They can't abide, abide by the rule of emotion. So the, the scales are being weighed. The immediate future, um, hidden secrets being revealed perhaps here, hidden agenda or just intimate, I think you, gosh, I feel actually like crying. Um, there are secrets that are going to come to the fore, but it's also very much about Paul Watson's intimate connection with his sole purpose, his life path and his connection with the energies of the, the world, the planet, the earth, his connection with all living things is what I'm, especially those that are, live in the water. I really, really feel like this is his soul connection, his spiritual path, and he knows it. Look at this major arcana. And he knows it, that this is what he was here in the now for. Uh, externally, just ick, ick energy. Another major arcana. This is actually really big. Dancing to the tune of the devil externally. Now, not this isn't Paul Watson. This is this this continual funding of an industry that. I mean. <sighs> You can only imagine with the whales being stabbed by a harpoon, um, electric shock, dragged aboard a ship. Just these are very emotional. They're almost like elephants of the sea. And if you think about elephants, they have hierarchical groups, matriarchs, um, family groups, uncles, aunties, nurturing for all the all the babies. Whales are the same. They are the elephants of the sea, internally shining a light on this energy. Right, okay. The hopes and fears and emotional fulfillment, an emotional ending here, the outcome. Well, here's a, a rule of law, a prosecutor or a defence, hoping is bringing this to an end. Secrets being revealed. The secrets being revealed about what goes on with this whaling. I don't think I don't think a court case is going to be a friend of Japan. I really don't, because there's there's some secrets about this industry that they that they very possibly don't want revealed. Um, it is about very much about healing, nurturing, protecting with that queen. Uh, but then we've got the King of Pentacles. There's money to be made by the, by the. Why is the government here? Because if the government's giving subsidies, but there's money to be made by higher authorities in regards to this. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! We've got the hanged man being paused, seeing from a different point of view, the sort of truth, a new start with the whistleblower that is bring, exposing the smoke and mirrors, bringing forth information that's going to bring an ending to, I'm going to say an ending to the industry. This is going to be, I'm really feeling that this, I'm glad, thank you, thank you, thank you for the person that brought this to me. 
I'm really getting that this with Paul Watson is going to be pivotal because it's going to be too burdensome to for um, the whaling to continue, the messaging that's going to get out there. Something about what he's bringing forth or will be exposed is going to be pivotal in ending the whaling industry. So show me what we need to know about the energies of the whaling industry. Show me what we need to know about the energies of the Japanese. Oh, but it's all to do with this past. It's in the past. It's okay for the survival of the Japanese people post-World War II. It was essential and therefore it became apparently part of their culture for those, I mean, we're talking 80 years ago, 70 years ago, but it's not necessary in this day and age. But let's have a look. Show me the energies of the whaling industry. Show me the... Okay, right. First of all, they just want me to do a couple of cards. Will Paul Watson be extradited? Okay, he says ask to be released, but I'll say, is Paul Watson going to be extradited? Is Paul Watson going to be extradited to Japan or not? Show me what we need to know. Is Paul Watson going to be extradited to Japan or not? Or Watson, Japan or not? Show me is Paul Watson going to be extradited to Japan? Endings and beginnings. So something coming to a closure, challenged by the push to have him extradited. He's bringing forth this message of protection of what is really precious in the past. The sort of truth is being drawn, has been drawn in the past. Exposing of the truth, crowning this reading, an emotional culmination, immediate future, negotiations going on behind the scenes. He's going to have to defend himself externally. He may put, be put on some sort of trial uh, in, in Greenland or Denmark, but he's got the higher ground here. He's going to put it, have, he's going to be given the opportunity to present his position. Uh, internally, temperance, balance, peace, calm within, hopes and fears, emotionally overwhelming, but also a new, uh, beginning of a new cycle. And I'm just drawn to the fish here. Maybe over within another two weeks. Drawn to the fish so circling here in support of this. The outcome, moving, being able to move forward. Queen of Swords, control, uh, an ending to uh, the dictators, ending to the dictators. Yeah, something's, it's going to be very much an emotional appeal, but something's not yet being revealed in regards to bringing bringing justice. So I don't think he's going to get extradited from that. I, um, not getting not getting a swag of major arcanas. There were a couple there. I think it will go through a process. I just, I do feel there will be some sort of legal process that it will go through though. In Greenland or Denmark, I think I'm feeling Denmark. I feel he's going to be shipped over to Denmark if he's not there already. And there will be some sort of court process is what I'm getting that he'll go through. And there's what is presented is going to be, it's not going to be pretty. I'm just going to put it that way. It's not going to be pretty. Uh, there's 
information that's going to come out that will be pivotal in uh, ending the whaling industry. So just show me the energies of the whaling industry, what's happening, what's behind it, what's the karma, and what is the future. Show me the energies of the whaling, the Japanese whaling industry. Show me the energies of the Japanese. It's very, got, it's very much got vibes of... Um, fur cub seal hunts. Does that make sense? Um, which I know culturally are part of, but, you know, the days of needing the fur cub meat and furs is gone. Uh, now it's sort of almost because we've always done it, this is how we should always do it, but those times have changed. So come on down, let's have a look at the future of the whaling industry. Yeah, it's emotionally overwhelming. It is going to bring a cleansing and it is about life in the ocean. There's going to be a it's going to be a real eye opener. And I feel um with the moon cycle here, I'm really feeling within the fortnight. Let's see where it goes. Challenged by money. Why does it always come back to money, 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 money? Challenged by oligarchal money, but it can also be exposing the money behind it and bringing it to an end. Please let that be. Um, the energies behind the scenes, the six of wands. Uh, the information that is brought forward is going to be very uncomfortable. It's not a victory card, but it can be a victory for Paul Watson, but it can be an uncomfortable victory. He's put up on display to bring this information forward. Um, Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. So I'm really feeling, okay, thank you, for Paul Watson, a victory where he gets his wish. Right. Energies behind the scenes. However, the other side of this is it's going to be very uncomfortable information that comes forward and be careful what you wish for. So let's see where this goes. In regards to the mercenary actions. So I really feel this is the end. This is Paul Watson. It's going to be victory for him. He's going to bring forward this information that's going to be uncomfortable to see about these mercenary actions of what is done for money. Ugh. Yeah, and I think those that are moneyed would like them kept secret, and I think that's why they want uh, the Japanese whaling industry wants them extradited to Japan uh, so they can keep them quiet because there are elements here that they want kept secret in regards to this industry. There's something here that's not above board let me put it that way um the karma hanging over it's very much about smoke and mirrors um there is a truth but there's all these smoke and mirrors that's happening around it illusion delusion as lena rodriguez likes to say and there's the other choice there is there is the the one true option, but the other options are things like vanity and greed and power and possessions, etc. This is the energy over the whaling industry. It's not all as it seems. And uh, the dispute over it, the changing of opinions, the pushback. I don't know why they would continue when they struggle to sell the meat. In Japan they do. I wonder if it's going elsewhere under a guise. Wouldn't surprise me at all. Okay, the outcome. Plan coming to fruition, but this is also overseas in the sailing ship of old. This is the whaling industry of old. It is going to find itself fully exposed for its actions. And they're not good actions. I'm sorry. They're not. They're not. Then oh, just ugh. And yeah, really powerful information, explosive information that is brought forward. There is strength 
something to do with money potentially passing hands here and a legal system, a, a, a a court decision potentially here, or it can literally be the court of public opinion. With this two of pentacles, juggling the money and bringing the ship in, it's all about money, it's all about making money, but you've got the strength of public opinion here. You've got lies here, lies, deceit, betrayal about the amount of money and the heartbreak, despair, anguish when it is exposed. I suspect there may be a court case here that is going to reveal this devil energy, the hidden agendas. And then we have the King of Cups, the emotionally mature authority figure, an offer being brought forward that will bring celebration Emotional maturity, feminine energy, which is all about healing and protection, which is going to bring down. I suspect there's going to be a ruling. The information, just when it's brought forward, is just going to be too a real shock to a lot of people. Um, yeah, I, I wish you like it would stop yesterday. I don't feel that it's long. I just feel there's going to be exposure Ex that is really uh, exposure of the toxic, unpleasant um, awfulness of the process, what goes on, and pub the court of public opinion is the backlash is just going to be overwhelming and I don't see the industry lasting terribly much longer. It may... I don't even know that the Japanese government's going to buy them out. I think it just might be hung out to dry. Oh, what an awful way to put it, because that's what they do with whale meat. Um, put it through a drying process. Um, am I getting a year here? It can't come soon enough, but I'm seeing 2028. 20, 20, oh, gosh, what's that? That's four years away. Um, done and dusted by 2028 is what I'm getting. Wish it was. Wish it was 1928. But anyhow, I'm going to leave it there. Love to you all. Take care. Bye bye.